hi guys welcome back to my channel today i am doing a what's on my iphone 8 uh, sorry 8 plus i don't know why i just said that it is brand new i got it well it came out yesterday so i got it yesterday and i to be honest i have the same apps as i did on my iphone 6s which is the one i traded him in for i've been playing with it all day yesterday all basically last night and all this morning yeah. i got the gold one which is really really pretty it looks like a um nude color almost with like rose gold like i would never say that is gold that's gold that's not but yeah so to unlock it i just have the thumb print thing and this is like my main screen, I guess you could say. I'm going to zoom you out a little bit more. Yeah, so this is my main screen. I have three three screens. See, yeah, I've got this one um, and I've got this one. And I need to look at these because they're going to annoy me. Yes, and then if you swipe left again, um, you get this. And it's just like a new thing. I've not really seen it because it's the new ios 11 as well then when you swipe up you get this pretty little screen it will start off with this screen so the first app i've got is my santander app i use it every single day like what do we do before um online banking i have no clue it's so weird then i have my bus times because i live in london and I get on the bus I guess I mean I'm loving uber but not for very long if you live in London then you've heard that uber is disappearing possibly then I have depop I don't really like go on it too much to be honest I sell a couple of things but I've never really sold like a lot but if you do want to follow me on depop then that's my depop account but as you can see there's not much there then I have my YouTube which I mean I love I go on it every single day that's like one of my main social media apps it's probably YouTube Instagram um snapchat and Facebook yeah probably um then I have Pinterest Pinterest I love like I go on like Pinterest binges and oh this is so pretty oh, I love that rug oh that rug is nice you just get sucked into Pinterest so quick oh that is so sweet um but yeah I could just get lost on Pinterest for hours and I love it then I have Airbnb. We are looking for a family holiday to go on in the summer of next year. So we are looking for, I don't know, somewhere to stay. We're not really sure where we're going to go yet. So we don't know if we're going to get like a resort or get like an Airbnb. But if you don't have this app, then you should download it because it is so much fun. Then I have the Misguided app because I love Misguided. And, uh, ooh, 20% of everything. Well, you know, there it is. Oh my God, 20, I think it was. And if I don't know if you've noticed, but I have things in color order. It just makes me feel better about life. <laughs> I know it's really sad, but it's how I've always had it since my iPhone 4 was it 4s or the 4 i'm not sure one of the two but i've always had them in like color coordination they've changed like positions slightly just because sometimes the apps change color like the instagram app never used to look like that but anyways that's a whole nother story um then i have netflix yeah but this is just like my netflix account and suits is so good narcos i haven't actually watched the new season <gasps> i need to watch that oh yeah but i actually want to start stranger things but i'm not sure about it i don't like extremely scary things so i don't know 
oh i love gilmore girls like i watch this probably like every other autumn i just find it such a comforting show and it's just so nice i love it anyways let's move on then i have instagram of course who doesn't have instagram um oh i love sarah ashcroft oh, so cute if you want to follow me on instagram it's just um nessie lapikes and i need to get the fenty beauty line but yeah then i have audible audible i don't really use to be honest the last time that i was on audible was oh i think it was when um 50 shades of grey came out and like christian grey's version of events came out um i downloaded that book and i listened to the whole thing but i listened to that but that's the only time i've been on audible and i haven't deleted it to be honest then i have voucher codes and this app is so great if you don't have it then download it honestly it's got like loads of little offers like 30% of the body shop I love CZ's they always have like promotions here look £10 off at Jamie's Italian that's so good CZ's see um 30% off main courses I love CZ's and everyone says I say that weird so sorry yeah it's got like loads of different like food shops and 50% of Okay, I need to come out of this because I'm just going to get sucked in and we're going to be here all day. Um, then I have Spotify. I listen to that when I'm on the bus or waiting for the bus. Uh, I, that's probably the only time I listen to it. Um, yeah, then I have Deliveroo. I love Deliveroo. I think it's so convenient. You can get like restaurants that you could never used to be able to get before. And you can get like really healthy shop and it's so convenient. Then I have free prints. Free, I know I've said this like five times already, but you need this app. It, I just discovered it not that long ago. And it's an app where you can essentially get free photos. But yeah, free prints is just an app. You just like choose your prints and then you can get them from like your photos I haven't gone on it yet on this phone so that's why it's asking me that but you can have it from like your camera roll your Facebook Instagram Google like anywhere you can have it and you can get them printed for free I think it's six inches by four inches that you can have for free and the rest of it like if you want them any bigger then you have to pay for it but I don't know I st still think it's really cute and I love it and it's so convenient to just get them delivered to your house because you could go in the store and print them but I always forget so yeah definitely recommend that one and then I have PayPal just to check my money and to pay things if I'm like buying on websites I tend to always use PayPal I don't really like having to put like my card details and stuff I think it's just tedious then I have Facebook I mainly use it for like family and friends it's a nice way to keep up with like old friends and new friends and like family that live far away so yeah I love Facebook then I have Twitter which I don't actually use but I'll go on Twitter if like I've watched a show and I really like and I'm really like divided on it and then do like hashtag the name of the show and then everybody else's opinions on it will come out. I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> That's the only reason why I use Twitter. Then I have Mail Online, which I love. It's like my only um, news outlet for like, um, like app that I have, but I just find it really nice. You have your news and then you have like your gossipy bits what that can't be right what stop it <gasps> anyways moving on i can't breathe what 
See, now I'm gonna have to go on Twitter and find out if it's true. So I'll be doing that straight after this video. Um, but yeah, it's just really nice because like I said, you have like your real news and then your not real news or unimportant news for life, but still very essential for mine. Um, then I have my fitness pal. I have not used the fitness pal for a while, unfortunately. Like this whole pregnancy, I haven't even gone on it. But I should and the second that I have my baby I'm going to go back on fitness pal because it is quite a handy one and I love it then you have um, the photo edit app and I've got visco which is really really nice I really like their filters yeah this is mainly for Instagram and I've got Visco, Snapseed I was recommended to download Snapseed but I've never really like used it much but I want to get into it and I like it then I have layout and then I have afterlight but yeah it's just normal but that's all my photo editing app then I have uber which I don't know if I'm going to have for very long for reasons that I just said about uber not working in London anymore which sucks so yeah, I might not need that app anymore. Then I have ASOS and I love ASOS. I find it really convenient to shop there because you can shop for like so many different brands like River Island and New Look and ASOS. <laughs> There's just like loads of different brands in like one website so you only have to pay for shipping once and then I end up spending all of my money on ASOS. Then you have eBay, which I use to sell things, like, I don't know, I just sold my camera, but it's not really interesting. We've got Amazon, which I love, I love Amazon. I have, like, wish lists and baby lists and all sorts of things that I love on Amazon um, and you can buy so much from there like you can literally get anything from Amazon um, then at the bottom I've got which I probably should have started with but I have my phone app my snapchat which I love um, my whatsapp and safari to just like basic apps that everyone has then going on to this page you've got bills i've got three um then sky how much my bill is going to be this month because sometimes it's outrageous and then my argos card app just to pay them then i have education which i don't know what it's called that it should be called lily but she just has the pokemon playhouse i think it's called and then she's got duolingo which she can learn like different languages on it. Then I have kids media, I'll show you. You have loads of different things and you can browse by age. Normally if like a new movie comes out and she really wants to watch it, then I'll like go on it. Let's say like cast free. Then it'll say the education value on it. If there's like any like sexual scenes or anything like that. If there's any like swearing, violence. Uh, and all of that then I have my pregnancy apps I had both of these with Lily it's just my pregnancy plus and the baby center then you've got headspace and headspace is like a meditating app I guess you could call it it's just like a really nice app to just listen to when you're when I'm a, well when I'm a little bit stressed and just kind of grounds me and chills me out and I really like it then I have six which is my only game that I have and then there's just this and I've got like the mail app I haven't really changed anything around on here the calculator looks different very different actually oh that's a lot of money the calendar my photos and my camera which are also very loved apps then maps which probably use a lot I use these quite a lot actually I just don't realize it then I have weather my clock um find my iPhone and um, then I have a wallet 
just for like Apple Pay because it's so handy to pay everywhere with Apple Pay. I don't have a contactless card, so I find Apple Pay really, really useful. Then I've got the App Store um, and I've got Health. I don't really use that app very much. I do use it if I want to track my steps but that is the only reason why I use it. Then I've got settings, files. I don't actually know what this is. It's a new thing that has appeared on my phone. Um, I've got notes. Um, then I've got FaceTime, which I use not that often, to be honest, but I do use it. Reminders, which is basically just a bunch of reminders saying less and less and less and less and less and less. Um, for all my driving lessons that I've got so I don't forget um, then like I said the calculator and my messages but that is it yeah that is all um, thank you guys so much for watching I hope that you found some useful apps I hope you have a lovely day and until my next video I'll see you guys soon bye